just when you thought we'd heard everything there is to hear from Donald Trump, now we're hearing from Donald Trump from 25 years ago, an audio tape obtained by the Washington Post, 1991, in which he's talking to a reporter, but he is pretending, apparently, to be Donald Trump's PR guy, not the real Donald J. Trump. And he's talking about Trump's social life and whether or not he's going to marry Marla Maples, the girlfriend he had after the bitter divorce with Ivana. And this is what he says on the tape. I mean, he's living with Marla, and he's got three other girlfriends, and she's not going to say, I really want to get back, you know? She wants to get back. She's told it to a lot of her friends, and she's told it to him, but it's so highly unlikely that's off the record. Well, I guess it's not off the record anymore, and of course, he did ultimately marry Marla Maples. So the question is twofold. One is, is this big news? I don't think it's a huge story. I don't think it, you know, raises fundamental questions about Trump's credibility, but it's just so weird that obviously it's newsworthy, and that's one of the reasons I guess I've been seeing this on cable television for days. The other question is, is it really Donald Trump? Now, the Washington Post says, and I have read before, that Trump in the past has admitted that in the early 90s, he sometimes uh, used an assumed name to talk to reporters, talk about what was really going on in, with Trump, the client, uh, and that he had acknowledged this, and sometimes it was either uh, cast as being for fun or maybe a little bit deceptive, but nobody took it all that seriously. But now we have the audio, and I'll tell you, I've talked to Donald Trump many times. That sounds like his voice. That I can tell you, as he likes to say. Uh, but Trump went on the Today Show and said, uh-uh, he didn't know anything about this, and it sure didn't sound like him, and he didn't think it was him. I don't quite understand that if he has acknowledged it in the past, whether it's this particular conversation or not, because that just extends the story to a second and a third and a fourth day. Is it him? Is it not him? Uh, and keeps the whole thing going. Trump also used the occasion to attack the Washington Post and specifically its owner, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, saying that Bezos is using the paper to attack him. Trump gives a lot of interviews to the Post, particularly to reporter Robert Costa. Uh, and uh, there have been stories he hasn't liked, sure, but is there any news organization on the planet that hasn't incurred the Donald's wrath? Uh, Trump saying that Bezos is going to have antitrust problems because of Amazon. That's why he bought the newspaper for almost nothing, he says. Uh, but the problem with that explanation is, one, Bezos paid $250 million for the Washington Post. Secondly, yes, of course, he probably uh, bought it so that he'd have some uh, enhanced influence in Washington. But Bezos is, by most accounts, uh, a hands-off owner who sits out there in Seattle, doesn't try to micromanage the newsroom, uh, doesn't, isn't directly responsible or tied to this story. Um, and I haven't seen any evidence that he has used the paper, even the editorial page, which is entitled to oversee, to further Amazon's corporate interests. But the real thing that's got everybody buzzing is Donald Trump in 1991 talking about Donald Trump. He's got a girlfriend. He's got other girlfriends. It just kind of adds to the entertainment value of the Trump campaign. Obviously, his enemies will try to turn into something deeper. Is it a big story? Well, it's the kind of story that a lot of people will click on.